Well, folks, Brent Larson went to a hockey game in Vancouver the other night, and no, a fight didn't break out, break out but <laughs> some deplatforming did, which is to say that Mr. Larson inexplicably had his homemade sign confiscated by a couple of the security guards at the Rogers Arena in Vancouver. And in the aftermath, the question remains, why? Well, joining me now is Brent Larson himself to give us all the details. Um, Brent, I guess, uh, first of all, thank you for making time to speak with me. And right off the bat, we have to find out what exactly did this sign say that made it so offensive? Yeah, hi, David. Yeah, so the, the big offensive sign was, uh, I support Don Cherry. So a few, uh, few weeks ago, we booked tickets for my dad's uh, birthday and uh, went to the game. And then I guess the Don Cherry story broke on Monday. I said, what can I do? I just felt like I wanted to support Don Cherry, a, a guy who's 35 years in the business. And uh, so we made a, a sign like this on poster paper, a standard poster sign that said, I support Don Cherry, and there's a little poppy on there. And uh, yeah, that's the sign that got taken away. This is incredible. So no profanity, uh, no vulgar symbols, unless I guess you're of the camp that believes that the poppy is uh, vulgar for whatever perverse reason. You were just showing your support for Don Cherry. Um, you, had a, you had an illustration of the poppy. You were holding it up during a break and play, so you weren't breaking uh, or interfering with anybody's sidelines, and you sat down when play resumed. So um, suddenly, then what happened? I mean, you told me off camera, Brent, that uh, uh, most of the people were giving the thumbs up. There were some people giving thumbs down. That's okay, it's a, a free country. You can weigh in however you want. And then what happened? Yeah, it's a, it's a free country. I stood up uh, during the intermission about three minutes before, and I just, I didn't, I didn't even speak. I just held the sign up. I faced the crowd, and it was one of those moments where I felt free that I can do it. And uh, what, whatever people, whatever people want to think about it, I'm, I'm free to do it. And yeah, there's some thumbs up, thumbs down. Everybody was cordial, you know, discussing it, and it was. Uh, and then I sat down with about 30 seconds before the period started, rolled up that poster, and that was that was it. Um, and then about uh, two minutes, well, maybe eight minutes before the end of the game, uh, we had a really nice host in our row, and he came up, and he, yeah, he, he was a really great guy. And he, he was under the impression that we're going to get a picture of this sign for the big screen at, at the um, Rogers Arena. And... and, and Oh, sorry. Go and ahead. so, so he, he asked me. So he asked me to come in, come up to the hallway with the sign, and I just figured we're going to get a reaction from the crowd. Um, I think everybody did. So I got to the hallway where uh, I was directed to, and there's two security uh, there to meet me. And um, yeah, in behind, I don't know if they came with them, but there was at least one or two Vancouver police. I, again, not just standing in the back in the in the hallway. And they said, we, we, we want your sign. Um, and I said, it's my sign. Why, why do you want, why are you taking my sign? So they said, it's the size of the sign. I said, the size of the sign. Uh, so you're gonna, it, I'll, I'll give you my sign, but if you look around this arena, there's a lot of other signs that aren't being taken. You're telling me you're gonna go take everyone else's sign. And that's, that's where the, I guess you'd call it an incident happened. So, so th this is fascinating, Brent, because as you said, and I have no reason not to believe you, you looked around and there were signs of a similar size to yours, and they were going untouched by security or by the ushers. And then you had the wherewithal to go into the Vancouver Canucks website and look at their signage policy, and lo and behold, there's no regulation saying signs must be, you know, no bigger than 40 centimeters by 25 centimeters, nothing like that. There's absolutely no provision regarding size of signage. So what's the unspoken reason here? I mean, what do you think the unspoken reason is here, Brent, as to why you really had this sign confiscated? It's really interesting. It's, uh, when I tell this story to people, there's not even a reaction. Like they laugh when I tell them that they took it because of the size. So it's when I tell it, it's it's common. They people know, 
uh, my instant reaction was, what? Um, and yeah, they took, there's only a few minutes left. So I missed a few goals, even in the period I was out there and uh, missing the game, dealing with this. And they took my sign. So there's only two minutes left. I think they could have even said, just keep the sign. Don't use it and take it home. Do what you want with the sign. But they felt the need to take the sign as well. You know, um, I, I'm not laughing about this, Brent. And uh, I mean, the reason I think you had your sign confiscated is perhaps the people in hockey, the people in the NHL, the, peop- the broadcasters and Rogers want this story to go away. This has been incredibly controversial. Millions of Canadians have been mobilized, um, like I've seen in such seldom circumstances before. And um, I think maybe because the, the Vancouver Canucks, let's face it, they play in a branded Rogers Arena, right? That's the name of the facility they play in. It, it's the, the, the Rogers Arena. So do you think that was, uh, at going on right now that the, somebody, uh, and I'm not saying the security guards because they're just taking orders from, uh, from someone, that somebody deemed a pro Don Cherry, a pro Poppy sign to be somehow offensive. This is, a, this is remarkable. Well, it's interesting because one of the security guards, uh, AJ was very reasonable. There was another um, lady there and, and she was uh, quite angry from the get-go. I didn't, I didn't I asked to record, I said I was going to record this. I didn't get her, but she was visibly angry. I couldn't see anyone really being angry over the size of a sign, and they didn't even have the dimensions of what the sign, sh- what size it should be. So for someone to be visibly angry at a paying customer who did a sign, uh, like, are signs not allowed ever in Rogers Arena again? Is, is that what, I don't want that. I don't think the kids want that. And uh, it's, it's really interesting, interesting times. But, you know, Brent, that, that's the crux of the matter as far as I'm concerned. If, for example, uh, Rogers had a policy, no signs allowed, then I'm sorry, it, 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 it's their, or, or the Canucks, I should say, if they had that policy, then it's their building, it's their league, they get to uh, set, set the rules. But there are signs allowed. And if there was a sign dimension issue, well, that's part of the rules. You've got to follow that. But as you found out, there is no uh, sign rule. You, my friend, have caught this organization in a lie. And I, I think this speaks volumes for what the real agenda was in terms of taking your sign away. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know their, their, their true intentions, but I can just tell you how I felt. And it, uh, it felt like uh, nothing I've really felt before. Uh, being a paying customer at a game, and uh, being confronted like that um, at a sport, I, 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 it was a different feeling. It was a, it's a hard one to explain in a, in a free country. You know, it, 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 yeah, um, a free country, uh, Brent, that I would say is becoming less and less free uh, by the month. Um, I think, you know, really at the, the heart of the matter of the Don Cherry story, to me, my friend, this is not simply a show being canceled or a personality being fired. This is perhaps the ultimate manifestation of cancel culture in our country, which is to say, when you look at Don Cherry, this, he hosts a show that is the seven most min, uh, watched minutes of TV in Canada every week, or at least he did until Monday. And if he can lose his job by saying something that some people somehow perceive as being politically incorrect, then anybody can lose their job. And yeah. here we are where you, as one of Don's millions of fans across this great dominion, you make a sign in support of Don and depicting the poppy. And this is being deemed by the Vancouver Canucks organization as somehow offensive. I mean, it's like you put up a poster of Adolf Hitler with the swastika. I, it, this is staggering, and um, I don't know where, my friend, I don't know where you take it from here. Have you reached out to the Vancouver Canucks to get a real, a true explanation, given that what they gave you in terms of the signed dimension was clearly a lie? Yeah, I went through all their, their uh, policies on their website, and I found the sign uh, policy. So, you know, in terms of calling them, I don't, I don't know what I want to call about. I could call to get my sign back, potentially. 
but um, you know, if I go to a game, I'll I'll bring a sign. I'll, I'll need to find out what the actual dimensions are uh, for the sign. And I, and back to Don Cherry, I support him as a person, as a senior, as someone who's poured into this country, just like I would for a friend's grandfather who's going through this. It doesn't mean I have to agree with everything he says. I don't agree with anything anyone says, but I, I'm standing with Don and I support Don as I would support other people in that same position. You know, and, and I think that is a very important point you make, uh, Brent. And it used to be, I think, you know, being in this business, especially with a colorful personality, a commentator, you could say things that maybe got to the line or even crossed the line or was slightly off color, what have you. And, you know, well, that's his opinion. Uh, you know, may, you know, it'd be like, move on. You know, there's, uh, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I don't want him suspended or docked pay or fired. But now it seems that's the automatic default, that you are deplatformed. And I just think, uh, Brent, that given that this happened literally on Remembrance Day, when we had so many Canadians die in battle to preserve the rights and freedoms that we enjoy in this country today, including freedom of expression, this is absolutely perverse, especially when you go to a hockey game and uh, you have your homemade sign that said absolutely nothing offensive, deemed offensive and confiscated. Yeah, I, I never thought it'd be a point and I've never had an urge to bring a sign to a game or stand up at, for, for the discussion and support. I felt like I, I could and obviously I couldn't in that business uh, uh, in, in Rogers Arena. And uh, it's disappointing. I think it's a bad dis business decision. I think it's a bad business decision to uh, to let Don go as well. And, and you can see it right now. People are canceling their subscriptions. And we live in a capitalist society and we can actually help change things with our spending and our actions. So it is, it is a good time uh, to cause change. I think it's great. Well, you know what, Brent? You might be the catalyst of a movement. I mean, when this story gets some publicity, when it gets some legs, maybe we'll have like, uh, you know, that, that movie from the 70s network where you had everyone rush to the window say, saying, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. And by that, I mean, have hockey fans all over the NHL bring signs in support of Don Cherry and the Poppy. I mean, what is security going to do? Confiscate all the signs and expel half the arena? <laughs> I mean, you know, it would be... Yeah, you know, I'll bring a smaller sign and they'll have to change their policy again or whatever they have to do uh, or eventually, you know, come to the conclusion that they don't want that message. But um, it's uh, I, I support Don Cherry and he's put in a number of years. He's an 85 year old senior and I, uh, I, 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 I thank him. Well, Brent, we're going to have to wrap it here. Uh, I, I think it was absolutely despicable what happened to Don Cherry, especially uh, the firing carried out on Remembrance Day. I know that personally hurt him because it took away the focus from the veterans on that day and put it on him, which uh, is something that he didn't want. But the epilogue, the sidebar story here, is your story that you bring a homemade sign merely in support of this great Canadian and depicting a poppy. And somehow in 2019, the Vancouver Canucks organization considers that to be, I don't know, pornographic. It's absolutely despicable. And Brent, um, uh, next time you do go to a Canucks game, like you said, bring a slightly smaller sign, you know, play their game and say, put the same words on it and see if that gets confiscated. Well, here, here's, here's the kicker. I had, I, I barely go to Canucks games, maybe one, one to two a year. And I have I had Tuesday and Thursday. I had already these tickets. It's not like I'm going now because of this, but I'm going to the game tonight, and I will bring my yellow uh, sign. I support Don Cherry. I'll be there tonight. You know what? After the game, I'm going to give you a call. I'm going to uh, talk to you, see how that went. Brent, thank you so much. Enjoy the hockey game, and keep fighting for freedom of speech, my friend. Thank you.